Hello, fellow seekers and self-explorers. Today, I'd like to talk to you about presence and more specifically, the avoidance of presence. So what I mean by that is how we, um, we may at times avoid being present to really uh, get out of the discomfort of what presence sometimes means. So let's uh, first I want to share with you something that happened to me and why I'm here today talking to you about this little piece about presence. Um, I've been it's been an emotional week uh, for me up and down <laughs> uh, riding the waves. Um, yesterday I had a wonderful day I had a brunch with uh, two beautiful friends of mine great and then I arrived home and <laughs> this is where something happened. Um, I started to have some, um, I started to feel my chest a little tightening and um, I was not comfortable. Something was up. Um, I don't know if it was physical, emotional, but I saw myself being home alone. Um, I saw myself being uncomfortable and right away I observed myself you know this channel is about self-awareness right so this is really what it's all about I observed myself going into my head trying to come up with a story of what was going on so that was the first awareness piece um, that uh, I got to feeling uncomfortable and going to my head to create a story and then I saw myself, I observed myself um, wanting to grab a glass of wine <laughs> for comfort. That's something I tend to do easily uh, or grabbing for food or uh, I thought of turning on the TV and watch something to distract me. So I was really observing all of my ways, looking for something to comfort me. And um, after a few minutes really sitting with this, I realized what was happening. I realized what was happening and I felt a little agitated inside, inside um, about the food, thinking of what I'm going to make or should I get that glass of wine or should I turn on the TV? And I saw the agitation. So I decided to sit with this and it was not comfortable at all. <laughs> and I went outside on my balcony with a few plants around that always feels a little nice for me. I sat there and then I ended up laying down uh, on the floor of the balcony and feeling the wind and on my skin. And I started to feel really uncomfortable, chest tightening even more. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, just feeling all of those sensations in my body and my neck and my throat tightening and everything, I started to cry. I started to cry and what was really, uh, it's new for me, um, I love to make stories and go up, bring everything up in my head so I don't feel that much, the discomfort. And I was crying without understanding what was going on. I had a good day. I you know, always look for a reason. We always need some kind of reason for why we're not feeling good. <laughs> um, and then that I let go of that. And I just cried and cried and cried. And that was it. And it lasted for... Uh, for how long it lasted and then I went back in and I sat with this and I felt much better I still felt uh, like this lost little girl you know needing needing her mommy or someone to hold her um, but I was able to mother myself there and um, that was actually a beautiful moment of surrender and let it go to what is it was a beautiful moment of being fully present with the discomfort so why I'm sharing this with you guys today is because I realized, and you know, again, I'm all about self-awareness, we cannot change something we don't acknowledge. So it's important to acknowledge our ways, to acknowledge without judgment. <laughs> well, look, I'm going to make another video about judgment because that's a big thing. Um, but acknowledge our ways without judgment. And from that place, we can make a conscious choice to try something different. So this is what happened to me yesterday, uh, seeing my ways of seeking comfort through some habits. TV, a glass of wine, food, um, something soothing, something distracting. 
right? And just seeing that with awareness allowed me to take responsibility and either make the conscious choice to go and grab that glass of wine or go make myself this huge plate of pasta <laughs> and, and eat it in front of the TV to soothe myself and comfort myself. I could have done that too, but at least I would do it with the awareness and the consciousness that that was a way to avoid the discomfort. Okay, so this is really, um, this is, this seems so simple, but for me, what happened was so profound yesterday to realize that and make the responsible adult choice, the conscious choice to try something different and sit with the discomfort and some tears came out of it and it was not dramatic. It was not um, horrible. I, I, I handled it. I just let the tears down and it felt good and I felt proud of myself to have tried something different something uncomfortable and you know with the um that's what I explained in my first video that we grow when we step outside our comfort zone there's no growth in the comfort zone we need to step a little outside so that was uncomfortable for me to um, not seek for comfort and sit with the discomfort of the presence really because presence is not always comfortable feeling things and having sensations in the body is not always comfortable so really this um this video guys is an invitation for today or maybe the days to come to observe yourself to observe whenever you feel something uncomfortable within your body or in your emotions, an anxiety, anything at all. As soon as you feel all discomfort, observe where you go. Does your mind, like me, goes try to create stories and figure it out? Um, do you seek comfort do you, in which ways? Just observe. There's nothing else to do. Be mindful of that. Do you stay fully present with the discomfort? Or what are your ways to avoiding it? And you know I'm about play and fun. It doesn't have to be dramatic. Tears don't have to be dramatic. Sometimes they just need to come out. <laughs> and we spend so much energy um, avoiding our emotion, avoiding the discomfort, uh, when really going through it can be, doesn't have to be so hard. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed everyone. And uh, Please leave feedback, leave comment. I would love to hear about how it was for you to uh, to avoid, to sit with the discomfort or to avoid it <laughs> with consciousness, with awareness. <laughs> um, all right, everyone. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Blessings, everyone. <laughs>